Hello and welcome back to Space Engineers. In today's video, we're looking at another small ship that's going to be great for helping you out collecting the prototype blocks from the latest update. So this thing that I'm currently driving is called the Biscuit VL Tugcraft, which is this lovely thing over here. So this is a small block ship that features the brand new flush cockpit, but as you see on the left hand side of your screen or the right hand side of the ship, what we've got is a piston arm, which has hinges attached onto it so you can lift all the way up and then back down to how it is right now. It can tilt its head, it can send all the way out, make sure you can grab hold of whatever you want to collect, drag it back to the ship, and while well, they take it back to your base and put it to good use. And for a quick demonstration, what I'm going to do is grab hold my character, come over to here, press number two, unlock that, come back into the free camera, relining it so we can get a good view of what's going on here. When we move it around, it is going to tilt up and down because the thrusters can't quite handle the actual force of this thing. On tab number one, time that on, pressing number one, that's now going to lift all the way up to a full 90 degrees. That'll take a little bit of time to do. There we are, we see our piston extend all the way out. And there we are, oh, it's almost 90 degrees. Guess we put that all the way back down. There we go. Reline the camera, like so. And pressing number three, this could be for your head and the front. So what we can do with this one, press number four. Then it tilts all the way up. Press number three, we'll change the direction. And it'll tilt all the way down. There we are. And then finally, number five and number six could be to extend it all the way out. So pressing number five, there we go. And it's just a standard piston extending all the way out. But of course, we can combine it with this. Lift it all the way up. We can then do that. Tilt it all the way down. And get it into the correct position to collect what you want to collect. Anyway, that can go all the way back down. That can put all the way back in. And then once it's done that, I'll reline the ship. There we go. Lock that in place so it doesn't wobble around. And that should do quite nicely. So what we're going to do is go through the F10 menu, have a look around the outside, go through the rest of the controls. Then afterwards we're going to collect some proto tech, which is sitting conveniently inside here. We're not going to go for the big thruster right there, but we are going to go for this one right here. This is the proto tech gyroscope, and we're just going to pick that up. I've disabled that. I've taken over this entire grid. I'm just going to pull that away and drive off into the distance. Anyway, back over to here. Press the F10, find its spawn menu, the Biscuit VL Tugcraft is 405 small blocks using the Automatoms Heavy Industry, Sparks of the Future, Deploy Number 2, Contact, Signal, and Waste and DLC packs. We zoomed here a nice bit of information about it, including some features, where it does have a front tow hitch, which is going to be a half hinge so that it can connect up to something and actually recharge up batteries, which is going to be very much needed. And we're down here, list of hot parts, so got a very quick look at the actual controls of this thing, which is jolly good stuff. And of course, we're going to give this a thumbs up. We run towards the very front here. Whoop, that was a bit fast. Have a look around the outside, like I said, and then go from there. So for the very front of the biscuit, this is what we get. We're on the very left-hand side, and you can see it's going to be our piston arm, which we've already talked about and already gone through. But on the right-hand side being our flush cockpit, surrounded by some yellow blocks. Down to here is going to be our tow hook, which is our half hinge. Connect up, and of course, to recharge your hydrogen tanks and batteries and all of that. Put it on my light, come a bit closer, but then got all lights to light up the darkness. Then up to here we've got some white red blocks just for a bit of decoration. Move around on the side. Here we go. And this is what we get. So we've got some atmospheric thrusters. We've also got an air vent which is purely decoration. There's a couple of these around the ship which, yeah, they're not connected up to the cockpit. So they're not going to be used at all. They're there, just like I said, for decoration. Anyway, over here we've got an unfinished LCD screen. We've got the letter A and that's sitting on an O2H2 generator. We've got some armor plates coming all around here to ask us a little step up, get up into that cockpit. They're moving all the way across here. A lot of the great use of the steel blocks, brown blocks, beam blocks, and all of that. So we'll come over to this part. We've got a little spotlight, purely there for decoration, much like the air vents. Then onto this part, we've got a conveyor converter. We've got a conveyor cap on one side, and then a conveyor coming all the way down into this section. We'll come across to our hydrogen thrusters and the very back. Of course, we've got a sand block right there. Two buttons at the back here. Once again, purely there for some decoration. Onto the bottom here, we then got a large hydrogen tank. We see our thrusters for the opposite side. And all the way down underneath it, a bunch of magnetic plates clamping down on. We've got a strip over here, and we've got two bundles at the very front. And of course, we can see all the gubbins of what's going on on the inside. So there's your O2H2 generator, there's your battery. We've got a couple of LCD things all the way up to here, which is only set online. All the way into this section, we see a bunch of hidden hydrogen thrusters. Around all the back here, there's your hydrogen tank. Moving all the way once again, and come back to where it just was. There we are. So there's our spotlight, there's our half hinge. All the way up and looking down, once again a decorative air vent, and all the way across and get a look at that arm. There we are. So we've got a hinge that comes across onto a steel plate, comes all the way across onto a piston right there. That goes across onto another hinge on your head. 
that comes down onto another hinge onto a blast edge block, onto a rotor that comes onto a piston, then down onto another hinge that sits onto this part, on top of our battery. Which is a very odd setup, but it does look very nice when it actually moves all the way around. So once again, lifting that all the way up. Oh god, need to unlock that, there we go. That was almost an explosion. Yes, it just lifts all the way up. And then we move all the way down again. And there we are, that's all it does. Just a very fancy way to lift it all the way up and down. And we climb that back in place. There we go. Moving across onto this part, we can see on top of our cockpit a rotating light. And as well as more armored panels, some complete, some unfinished. So we come across onto this part where that's the hydrogen tank. Onto the bank there. We then got a ladder that's been angled once again by a hinge, which is sort of there for decoration. But I suppose if you did need it, you could always grind it up, put the resources into your inventory, go across to say a building in a distance, then use that ladder to climb all the way up to limit your jetpack usage when breaking into a structure. Anyway, with that, that's basically it for the outside of the Biscuit VL Tugcraft, and those bloody fantastic has been set up. A very useful little ship, and I do love how the flush copy has been used on pretty much all designs lately. I know there is competition going on. This one, it's very nice to see this cockpit being used because it is a bloody fantastic cockpit and well, it does make the old cockpit look very redundant. Anyway, grab on my character once again, bring up the hunt. Here we go with the controls. So we've done number one, two, three, four, five, and six. But number seven is going to be filled with in place on that head there to actually clamp the object you want to take away or well, move around in place. So you press number eight to turn them on. Now anything we touch will be latched onto it. Number nine is for your atmospheric thrusters on and off, which we don't really need in space, but I'm going to keep them on for now. But as for that, that's it for the controls, so I suppose app number two, we do have the magnetic plate on our arm right down there to lock it in place to make sure it doesn't wobble around, especially if something is attached onto it, because as soon as you move down, as soon as you move up, it's going to clang around and could blow up or break the arm and fly off into the distance. But yes, as for that, that's that for the controls, so all we've got to do now is come over to that little prototype gyroscope, pick it up, and we'll go off my merry way. So coming all the way around, over to this part. I was tempted at picking up that thruster, but I think it's going to be too heavy for this thing to handle. So we're going to come over to this one. Here we go. All the way up to it. And that should do quite nicely. Now I'm going to bring free camera all the way over so we can get a better look at what's going on here. All the way across. That should do quite nicely. Cabin number two, unlock that. Now we're going to press number five. There we go. It's going to come all the way across. Pressing number eight to lock it in place. And. Oh, it looks like we are just a little bit away. So moving this thing forwards. There we go, we're now clamped onto it. And I'll take a hold of this, move away. And now what I want to do is actually lock that in place. There we go. Now we're just going to move away very, very carefully. It's going to wobble around, I should have moved it all the way back. Go do that right now, putting that back. And now we can actually lock that in place. And away we go, it's now a lot more sturdier. And I've just taken hold of those prototype gyroscopes. I can now go back to my fighter ship, attach them onto that. Or I'll just go and deconstruct them, if that's what I want to do. I know I don't get the resources, but I do deconstruct them. But still, you never know what you want to do with these things. And with that, that's it for the Biscuit VR Tugcraft. It's a fantastic little ship if you do want to go out and about collecting up different objects from the world. It doesn't necessarily need to be for prototype objects. But as you can see in this video, it was fantastic actually going picking stuff up and dragging it away. Of course, you will have to clear out the base of any guns and actually claim the station for yourself. That's what you want. But for like power outposts or any kind of enemy base, you just go and collect up any cargo containers, any kind of batteries, and just go take it back to your base, attach it onto a structure, and away you go. So if you lead to it, description below to should download the player out yourself. I highly recommend you do, as well as the things that Skybox I'm currently using. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.